Good evening. Uh, we present the news summary. The Honorary President of LDS, uh, President Wevel Ramkalawan, and other LDS members have urged all supporters in Seychellois to support the government by contributing towards the success and betterment of the country. The LDS activist said this at the rally at Onsoyal yesterday. The rally was organized to celebrate three years of LDS government after winning the 2020 general elections. The LDS says it will continue to support all Seychellois and do everything within its power to bring uh, Seychelles to another level. Following reports of uh, undersized red snapper and uh, job fish being sold in several locations, the Seychelles Fisheries Authority, SFA, is again discouraging people to catch and sell these fish measuring less than 32 centimeters. The SFA has warned that there are hefty fines up to 20,000 rupees to guilty parties involved in catching, selling, and buying of the red snapper and job fish of less than 32 centimeters. The trial in the arms and prevention of terrorism case has taken a pause as the chief justice and foreign lawyers of the Valabji couple will not be in the country. However, there was a ruling in favor of Mukesh Valabji, the first accused, but a petition by the second accused, Laura Valabji, remains dismissed in the constitutional court following a ruling late last week. This morning, in front of Judge Kaolish, lawyers of Mr. Valabji and Nouveau Bank reached agreement to allow Il Passion and Intervision to continue with normal business despite a restraining order on Mr. Valabji's assets. And the Constitutional Court ruled that the preliminary objection that a petition by Mrs. Valabji is out of time is sustained and the petition stands dismissed. Mrs. Vanabji had brought the petition against four respondents, President Ramkalawan, Vice President Afif, the Attorney General, and the Anti-Corruption Commission, SECS, alleging numerous violations of the Constitution in relation to her arrest by SECS's officers, SECS's jurisdiction and powers to prosecute, an order of the court, and her continuous remand and non-withdrawal of charges against her pending the amendment to the Anti-Corruption Commission Act 2021 and 2022. The Seychelles Prison Services is using different approaches to help offenders, young and old. For the younger offenders who are prone to challenging behaviors, the Prison Services has launched a program, The Gem in Them. The Prison Commissioner, Raymond Setange, says an agreement to that effect was signed last Friday between the Prison Services and the St. Elizabeth Orphanage in the presence of the Department of Social Services. Everybody, when they're born, has something positive in them. It's unfortunately as through child nurturing, when they're nurtured, lack of proper nurturing then sends that person onto a negative path, or if he's positively nurtured, a positive path. Everyone has a special thing inside. That's why it's called the gem in them. So we launched a project with an outreach with the foyer, with the children, with our, with our um, team spirit, team of officers who will go out, mentor, be big brothers and sisters for at-risk at, at youth, and this is part of our outreach to try and prevent people from going on the wrong path and coming to prison. La Folie La Mode has replaced the famous Fon Mal in the 38th edition of uh, the Creole Festival. This year's fashion show saw the participation of 15 students from SIAD in the Young Stylist category and five full-time stylists stylist in the um, uh, Professional category. The winner for the Young Stylist is Isis Lose with Ocean as a concept. And the winner for the professional stylist is uh, Athalia Barbe with the concept of Color of Riches. And the winner for the best concept is Emma Larue with Ocean Tentacles as her concept. Seychelles is amongst seven countries to which the Indian government is expected to export 1.34 million tons of non-Basmati white rice. That's according to a BBC report. Seychelles will be supplied with 800 metric tons of rice. Other countries expected to receive the commodity are the Philippines, Malaysia, Cote d'Ivoire, the Republic of Guinea, and Nepal. The export uh, approval has been issued by the Directorate General of Foreign Trade 
and it comes three months after the Indian government banned its export to boost domestic supply to tackle rising food prices. This was the news summary. Thank you for your attention.